I'm walking towards the um, studio of the uh, artist Elizabeth Gill. Um, this is where she moved her studio to. It's uh, on Mount Etna. And uh, there's different um, revisions and different inspiration that are allegedly is occurring here. We will find out what that is all about here shortly. I'm walking now to the side of her studio. She doesn't know exactly when I'm going to be here. Oh, she, there she is working. Buongiorno, come sta? Thank you. Uh, Climbing up Mount Etna is not easy, huh? You know, Tom Tom works all the time. Okay, great, great. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty uh, total anarchy here on the road, you know. I know. Um, so, this is my studio. Welcome to my studio. Lovely place, lovely place. Yes, uh, so I'm into these plants. Uh, actually, uh, years ago, I heard about these strange species that were found on Mount Etna. And I was very, very attracted to that and fascinated by it, and I wanted to know more about it. So finally I decided to move to Sicily, set up my studio here, and go look for these plants. And I absolutely wanted to make a series of, you know, botanical paintings uh, of these plants. It took me a long time to find one because they are very, very rare. And so why did I call you actually to tell you that about 10 days ago I found one of these plants actually right by the side of the road. And I picked it up, ran home, made a sketch of it, and within an hour it was already deteriorating at the speed of light, believe me. So, what did I do? I, I packed it in a Ziploc bag, one of those big ones because it's kind of big, and I rushed off to uh, the Faculty of Hyperbotanics at the University of Catania, which is a brand new faculty that are specialized in these alien species. So they were very, very happy, of course, when I brought them this plant. Now the question that I have, I mean, because these plants can only be found on Mount Etna, right? Yes. Uh, yes. You cannot find them anywhere in the world. I like the term anywhere because that makes it even more wider, know, wide, norm, even more widest. I like that. I, you know, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, yeah. And but to to respond to your question, uh, was that a question actually? It was a question. Do you remember my question? Well, I got stuck when I heard you say anywheres, and then I focused on that term anywheres, you know. But anyway, um, yeah. Anyways. Why, anyways, anyways, why is this plant, why, why do they find this plant only on Mount Etna? I have no information about that if uh, on any other volcanoes they have found these plants. Um, I, I mean, the volcanic ash, is that um, a, an ingredient for these strange looking plants? It, is it because the soil is so high? Uh, minerals and different things like that. Absolutely, absolutely. But that would mean that wherever there is volcanic soil, you would be able to find these plants. However, so far, they have found them only on Mount Etna. Well, you know, I, I've, of course, I've always, um, first of all, thank you for allowing me to do this documentary. Uh, uh, as you know, I travel all the way from the southwest to get to come here because I was so inspired with your uh, watercolor oh, color cactus you, series, a, a, a cacti series that you, you know it's, that, that just blew me away. And thank you, thank you. It blew you away, and you came all the way over here. And good, I did, good, I good. did, and I, you know, if it wasn't for I, the Tom I, Tom, I mean, I, I don't, who, who I mean, that's perhaps the greatest invention. 
What well, is the greatest invention? The top tom. I mean, it's like yeah, it's like. Let's I mean, change just, the subject. Let's I mean, talk like, No, 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 no. Because like, oh. if, if it wasn't for the tom tom, you know, I would not be able to sit there and do this interview with you, uh, because it's totally impossible. It is to get to find where you have to go here on this island here. You know, I know. Plus, it's like. Because you have also these holes in the roads that make big, it actually huge holes that go into them and, and penetrate the freaking craters. Penetrate the earth. I know. It, yeah. it, it sucks like everything in cars and peeps. And I know, cars and peeps. So, um, now, you, how long do you plan to stay here on, on Mount Etna? I am going to work for at least another year on these uh, plans and help the Faculty of Hyperbotanics mm -hmm. at the University of Catania that are counting on my availability to, uh, you know, document all the findings and now that I have found one, they are actually counting on me to find more. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going out there every morning hoping to find another one and we already know that uh, the second one you find is completely different. It belongs to the same family though, but they are completely different and there's only one. There is only one. And so, yeah, it's from, to me it's like a treasure hunt. You know? I also heard just, um, um, I would say, uh, uh, an art um, exhibition and you know, you, you, your name came up and um, I was um, Surprised to hear that uh, you've turned down a lucrative offer to teach watercolor at the University of Catania. Oh. Yes, yes. I did not want to reveal this. I mean, you brought it up now, so yes. I, I want to share this with everybody who is interested. They have been really begging me, and I didn't want to know about it. I don't want people to know for now that I'm going to give courses, but I'll tell you, I was offered an incredible amount of money by uh, the Hyperbotanic Department of, Catania. of Catania, mm -hmm. an offer I just can't refuse. I mean, mm -hmm. I definitely need to restructure my studio in the Southwest, so, uh, yeah, so you, every little bit is welcome, right? So. Yeah, uh, I, I will start these courses. Uh, people can uh, write me an email if they're interested, but please, only if you're really interested, because, I mean, my mailbox is, is, is always so full. I get thousands of emails a day, and on Facebook, they're killing me. They're killing me. I mean, they're tweeting, tweeting, tweeting me. So I have no life if I, if I start, you know, going public. I am overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Well, I, I and so no, no, that's really, why really, I am I, so I, grateful I, I, that you gave me, you know, this opportunity. Yes, and I, I have know, to tell you honestly, I don't have much time. Oh, we have to. I mean, we I have mean, to cut this. Like in five interview. minutes, I think I have a, a reporter from the. Oh, so I, 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 I I'm, I'm not unique. I mean, I'm not like I thought I was getting the special interview. It's like yes, oh, because I came about, all the way from about, this. about oh, absolutely about the the. The rare species, the yeah. hyperplant. Yeah. Yes. So that, you then are, you, uh, I, I'm the only one that can sit yes, there and report on that. So if I for, yeah. if I no, sit the there, the New York Times no. they want to interview me about other things, and so. so. Wow. All right. Yeah, I mean that's that, I feel honored uh, because I work, you know, as you know, you know my my newspaper slash magazine is somewhat new. Oh, is it called Slash Magazine? And that's very original. Yes. Yeah. And I'm actually not only just like the one. I'm also the editor, by the way. Ooh. I, 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 and and I, I bet you print them at home yourself. I do, and I do all the, my own photography, my own filming. I do everything myself. Wow. And you distribute them one by one. One by one. Door to door. Door to door. Okay. F via my car. Oh, well, well, that is... Did you want to interview me? Because, like, this is like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe. Bye. Bye, bye. 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 I gotta bye. go Thank now. You.
Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. You see this here? It is one of the insects. I mean, I, I just merely sketched it now. By the way, I'm using Schuller Hammer Torchon watercolor paper, which I've been using forever. And I am using Schminke watercolors. And so you see this plant here, first of all, it comes out of a, some sort of bulb, some sort of, and it had these spines, really sharp. And then it involves into something that has somewhat of a broccoli leaf there. And the broccoli leaf had a little tiny purple, like, precious stone attached to it and the flower is really heavy and it had some sort of hairy ball and here on this side branch or whatever you call it it had rings but the most curious thing was that these leaves, they opened up like some sort of mouth and inside the mouth it had some sort of sp- sp- spermazoid like thing sticking out and actually the insect also looks a little bit like a sperma- spermatozoid what is that? spermatozoid? oh those are known to um to roam around on Mount Edna.